Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Steph Tide here. I'm back with another video. And in this video today, we're going to be playing um, some Booga Booga, obviously, because you read the title. Nah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, guys, today I'm going to show you the best setup for PvPing. And like, you know, I just learned this kind of like a few days ago, so like, um, I'm not like the best at doing it. But like, yeah, it's a, it's not really a, I wouldn't say it's a long process, but it takes a little bit of grinding. Like, it takes at least an hour to get ready or something like that. But yeah. Um, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like this, and, um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll show you how to PvP, or not like PvP, but like, get set up for PvP, because this is the video, how to get like, set up for PvP and stuff. So yeah guys, the first thing you want to do is go out and, um, PvP, I know it's gonna be hard because, you know, you're like, wait, you're supposed to get set up for PvP first, but yeah, so first you want to farm up on crystals and gold. Um, right here I have 351 crystals and 426. I used to have like 500 and like 400 of this, but um, right now I do not because I died with void armor. That was not a fun experience. But yeah guys, you just want to firm up on some crystal and gold, um, mostly this. Um, you can also firm up on some like void and stuff to just give you like void armor better. You can either do that, um, you don't really have to firm up on jelly because there is a thing we have to do with jelly. So don't farm up on jelly, just farm up on... So if you're gonna do void, just farm up on void shards and, um... What is it? Mag. I have, like, 20 mag bars, just in case I want to make some void armor. Whenever. But yeah. So now, guys, my blood fruit's farming, and this is what you want to do. Once you farm up on all your crystals, chunks, and gifts, like, get, like, a lot. Just get, like, a crap ton. Um, make sure you have full of god armor, or full void armor. Whatever you want. So make sure you have at least one of those two. I'd recommend god armor. We're gonna be in the overworld because it is awesome so yeah so after you farmed up all your gold and crystal for making god armor or void armor or whatever you're gonna make you want to start farming some blood fruits so yes during these pvp things you're not gonna be able to pick up anything but that is okay because you're gonna have like 5,000 crystal and stuff so you're not really gonna have to worry about loot, but yeah, it's gonna kind of suck not having you pick up anything, but it's okay because you're going to be able to place so many things, and I'll show you guys how. So yeah, right now I only I have 1,729 blood fruit, which is actually a lot, but I'm gonna farm a little bit more because, you know, why not? Because farming is good. So yeah, you guys just wanna farm blood fruit. Uh, I'll show a clip of me farming like a huge farm right here. But uh, yeah, just make sure you farm a lot of blood fruit. I'd recommend like 2,000 or 3,000, whenever whatever of those and stuff like that um and yeah just farm up as much blood fruit as you can i'd again i just recommend 2000 or something because you know hopefully you don't um and yeah all right after you farm up some blood fruit which i will soon just make sure you get a lot of plant bugs because you need to farm a lot um next you want to farm jelly and this is why jelly for logs and you might be like step time why do you Okay. But yeah, guys, logs. You might be wondering, why do you need logs? What is logs for? Well, I mean, you've seen it in all my PvP compilations. I always place logs. Logs are the most important thing uh, in the universe. They're, like, literally... So, like, let's just say, again, someone's running, you know, let's say uh, an invisible guy is running after me, and I need to place a wall in front of him. So, let's say this is not... I'm the enemy... You know, you just gotta place a wall to block them, man. Just in case, if you don't have any, then you're just, you're just gonna be running a lot. So you don't wanna run. You wanna fight. So if you wanna s fight some guys that are running away from you, farm up on logs. Um, you won't be able to pick any up, so which is why you're gonna farm them. So yeah, there's this weird glitch where you can, like, farm over the limit of your bag. Hopefully, Sorby never patches patches this, yeah. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to farm as much as you want. You could literally farm literally to infinity blood fruit, which is impossible, but you could. <laughs> If you really wanted to, which would take hours, but yeah. So yeah, you can farm Jolly. Jolly's pretty quick to farm, so don't worry about it taking so long as blood fruit. And yeah. Also, guys, uh, just another thing about blood fruit. Once if you farm out blood fruit, make sure you keep the leaves and sticks. So leaves for huts. You're gonna be able to place a lot of huts if you have a lot of them. Um, and also sticks for docks. You don't wanna. You wanna have a. You don't need too many sticks. Just get as much as you really can, if you really want. Um, docks for the, you know, water. They're really good. Just make sure you get docks, because docks are insane. Alright, my jelly is farmed, and as you can see right here, I only have 93 logs. So you want to farm up, like, 500 to 1,000 logs. I know, it's like a lot, but like, yeah, you don't want to... You want to farm up as much as you can, so you don't ever have to, you know, farm again. 
So you just want to get as much as you can so you don't have to have to do this again. So yeah, so let's see what we got. We have that we have all your blood fruit, um, jelly, if you want to keep your jelly, uh, sticks, leaves, logs. Um, and that is kind of it, honestly, guys. I don't really know what else. I guess we're gonna go to the optional things you could do, maybe, possibly, but you don't in like really have to. So yeah. So guys, um, one recommendation, which is not only a recommendation, is auto clicker. Watch my food bar. Food bar. Yeah, that's my auto clicker. And honestly. Auto clicker is getting really popular for Booga Booga, especially in like intense, insane PvP. F oh, that, that was mine. Okay. So yeah, Lo um, logs are getting. I mean, not logs. Oh my God. <laughs> Auto clicker is getting really important in extremely intense PvP fights because literally everyone has it nowadays. It's getting really annoying, guys. So I just recommend, you know, getting on auto clicker. You don't have to, but like I'd recommend. It, I got one because I, I just in case you know some god guy with hacker comes at me and tries to kill me but that's only in the necessary so yeah you don't need to have auto clicker I just recommend it because a lot of people are getting it nowadays especially in intense PvP fights so make sure if you want you can have it but it's not my choice so yeah guys that is really kind of it I guess we can go over the mojo items you need Obviously, the full god set. Um, I got everything in the thing. Um, survivalist is really helpful. I'd recommend you get that. I don't know. This is really not part of the video, but... You know, Survivalist is really really good. So, I'd recommend you get it. Um, weird flex, but okay. Um, I don't know if... Don't use god huts, by the way. If you're gonna hut someone, just use a regular hut. Don't use god huts. A waste of golden crystal. And, you know, just in case you die, you could just remake it. So if you don't... But yeah, make sure you get the full god set if you want to do god, um, yeah, god rock, obviously, god bag, too, yep, definitely, get all that, and I think you'll be really good to go to go, once you get all of that, you'll literally be, um, set for PvP, you never have to worry about farming, and, like, I mean, obviously you have to farm again one day, but you're not gonna have to farm as much as you really needed to. So, yeah, guys, that's gonna be at the end of the video, um, I know it was kinda short, I don't know how short it's going to be in the editing process, but hopefully it's at least a little, like at least two or three minutes. But yeah, I just want to get a quick video out there for you guys. Um, I just thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps you PvP and stuff and win more battles because, you know, PvP, I don't know about if you've seen it, but it's getting a little more, how, how do I say this, intense. Yeah, that's what I would put it. It's getting a lot more intense, especially for me. Yeah. So yeah, um, I don't know, I guess I could shout out some people, um, I don't know if I can shout out them in this video, but I might in the description, if they really want to shout out, I don't know. Because they taught me this, my ways, the ways that I'm doing now, which is really, really helpful. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment for more videos like this, and more PvP tips if you guys really want them. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, and uh, peace out.